Welcome to Resistance. Man fall down. So, I used to have a PlayStation 3 back in the day. And I beat this game on hard mode, so I know everything about it. Let us begin. I think sometime between World War One and World War Two, these things called the Chimera happen. We don't know if they're aliens. We don't know if they're biological weapons. Anyway, so pretty much destroys all of Europe. Don't worry about that. What matters now is that it's about to invade England. You what, mate? They are sending in American forces to save England. And there's going to be one soldier in particular. A sergeant named Nathan Hale. And he has special... Oh, no spoilers. You'll find out. So he puts on his detective hat and he's ready to solve the mystery. So they arrive in York and they get destroyed. Except for ya boy, Nathan Hale. So he's gonna jump out of the helicopter, right? Hold on a minute. He's not really gonna slide down it like a stripper on a pole, is he? What you need to do is connect with some sort of carabiner. He is. Alright, so you are stuck in England. A fate worse than death. No! So this is what the Chimera look like. They're taller, more handsome. They can heal themselves quite quickly. And so those things on their back provide constant cooling. And if you destroy them, they will overheat and die. It's a neat premise. So we're fighting downtown London. There you go, you got a parking ticket. So they make it to Winchester, Berkshire, Hereford, Heath on Hampton. <laughs> they make it through the cathedral. And just as he goes to jump down, something unexpected happens. Oh, I thought it was right there. I think it's coming up. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Something unexpected happens. Oh my god, it's the bugs from the mummy. So, they fight off the scarab beetles as best they can. But it's too late. And Hale dies. <laughs> the noise they make when they go in his mouth. No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Chimeran virus. He just showed us! Bugs! Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a US medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. <gasps> if that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Chimeran virus mutated within him, or whether his body had an innate resistance, <laughs> remains a mystery. Ooh. So they fight off these things. They're like the head crabs. So he's running through, he's killing shit, and then he jumps in a tank, and it's time to kill, kill, kill. Just another day in Westminster, Mintshire, Berkshire, up on Heath on Hampton. The Americans regrouped at an abandoned bus depot in southeast York. Under the command of a Captain Winters, they staged a daring tactical offensive. If an enemy can take over your entire city, you invading with six dudes, what do you hope to achieve? Anyway, so he makes it to a military base. They must know this is a prime landing zone. Okay, that is a familiar voice actor. Someone in the comments, tell me who that is. Yes, sir. His name is Sir, so just look up Sir in the IMDB. So he fights his way through the depot. Uh-oh. Head crabs are going to come out of those. I've seen it before. That's quite a good clip, actually. I like. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> anyway, head crabs. We know from the craters that the Chimera ended the battle by launching spires. After impact, the spires release swarms of crawlers. After the crawlers have done their work, the Chimera send in carriers to collect the dormant victims. The role of the carriers is to transport infected humans to conversion centers. It's at these locations that the Chimeran creatures are born. Right, get it? So, bugs come in, people get the bugs in their mouths, icky icky gross, and then, once they're dead from bugs in mouth, they are transported by just the top half of Cthulhu's head to a conversion center, where they will be turned either gay or straight, depending on their original orientation, and also into Chimera. Now, because Nathan Hale was already immune, what they had eff effectively done is Trojan horsed themselves. We had been captured uninfected, so we were put in makeshift pens until they could infect us. Oh, there's other people who were uninfected as well? How does that make any fucking sense? The bugs get everyone. Take over a city in minutes. It's already too late once they arrive. 
Are you getting lots of bugs in your mouth too? Yes. Right, so Nathan Hale suddenly oh. wakes up. He hasn't been converted yet. And he can see all the worker chimera doing their thing. And he comes in and somehow he has a rifle. He flips the switch and... Over here! The console! Shoot the console! Thanks for that. I'm Parker, an American. American? Everything you do is so foreign and funny-like, innit? So Parker escapes out the vent. And she says, I love you, Hale. I'll always love you for what you did for me shooting that electrical box. So he carries on, and he's having a whale of a time. And then his cataract act up. The conversion center was built on top of an old fish cannery. Anyway, so he's going through, he's still at the conversion place. He's finding some delicious canned fish. He has some mackerel. He has some cod. He has some snapper. He has some white bait. But then he arrives at... During the second phase of the conversion process, the humans are wrapped in cocoons. God, it must be comfy in there. This accelerates the final stages of the conversion. What emerges from the cocoon is determined by the strain of the virus. Each Chimeran creature is created by a separate strain. What we call hybrids, the ones that most closely resemble humans, have the shortest gestation period. The more beastly creatures take months to create and are made from multiple human bodies. That's pretty neato. So anyway, salmon, tuna, kingfish, pufferfish, herring, red ruffy. Come well, fish boys. Anyway, it's in some important place now. The final stage of the Chimeran conversion process is known as the birthing chamber. In the case of hybrids, a cooling apparatus is fused a cooling apparatus. The Chimeran metabolism is roughly 12 times that of humans. This results in remarkable healing abilities, but also... See, I said that earlier. Anyway, so Nathan Hale is sad. He turns that sadness into angress, and he... I was able to make it to the surface and summon a rescue. Flying into the Chimeran territory was always dangerous, but we had to risk it. It's really dangerous for them, but we had to risk it. We had to save my life. Hale made it out shortly after. I didn't really stick around to help Hale. I looked for any further signs of conversion. There was nothing. Just the gold-coloured eyes. We flew directly to Manchester. I wanted to take Hale back to Northern Command for debriefing. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe he could sense I was suspicious of him. He joined the Manchester squad before I could say a word. Anyway, as you can see, downtown London on a Saturday night. Oh my god. He's in the metaverse. Uh, this place is amazing. The site was guarded by stalkers, so the only route in was on foot. A radio message from Hale's squad said they were entering Manchester Cathedral. So anyway, it shoots them all and it's fine. But then this thing! And he kills that too, and that's fine. And then you go through the other side to the kids' playground. Nathan takes a turn at the merry-go-round. Mom, are you watching? And you go through, but, 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 but. Right. Nathan Hale, it's time for business. Ow, mate, you all right? You all right? Oi, crikey, you wanker. Pip, pip, you all right? But so, anyway, meets up with some dudes, and then there's a big old fight. Don't worry about that. Nothing interesting happens. Let's get through that. Oh, there's a big mech. After he destroys the mech, a train pulls up to the station. He looks at the side of a truck and touches it. And then he sees a dragon. Anyway, then he grabs a private helicopter. With the stalkers gone, we were able to airlift the cell. Is she in charge of the army? What's going on? How come she's commanding everyone? We're about to execute a very risky offensive operation. The Chimera had been using a network of underground tunnels to attack undetected. They go through a tunnel and they decide to go on the offensive. They start invading with like four dudes against a whole army, even though somehow they've dominated the rest of Europe. Oh, story. I needed to get them help right away. A group of soldiers had just stormed a Chimera mortar position. Hale was the only one to make it out. I sense a theme. I him to look for a shortcut through an old train tunnel. The tunnel was mostly blocked by a Chimeran power conduit, but I knew if Hale could find a way through, it would turn the tide of the battle. It's time for the halfway point. Last we saw Nathan Hale. He had survived a thing that no one else did. Anyway, fights that other big monster from Half-Life. Then you do sniper mission. That's pretty neato. 
Lieutenant Cartwright, sir. If you've come looking for a fight, you've found the place. Say, look here. Who brought the yank? It just reminds me of the Game of Thrones British accents. You know, how now, brow. All right, so anyway, this guy's talking to Nathan Hale, and Nathan isn't having any of that. He's like, get the fuck out of my face, and... By that time, word had already spread about what Hale did in Manchester. However, Cartwright wasn't the type to be easily impressed, especially by an American. What the fuck has Cartwright done that's anywhere near as good as that? You went into like three different battlefields and came out as the only survivor. Instead of just making tunnels, the Chimera were digging something out of the ground. Ooh. At the time, we passed it off as just another Chimera mystery. Our priority was to seal off the tunnels. So anyway, they go in and they're fighting and they're shooting and they're fighting. But then they win the, the day, fellas. The operation was a success. I sent the troops back to Southern Command for a well-earned rest. I was taking Hale to the Intelligence Division at Northern Command for debriefing. Hell yeah, dudes. Give her one for America. As we landed, I could already sense the worst. The whole place was deathly silent. Look out! Is that the first time we've heard him speak? Anyway, that's what he sounds like. Look out! So, the tunnel collapses. Uh-oh, we've been separated from your new girlfriend, Parker. Now you'll never get that debriefing. So he's running wrong, going through the tunnels, yada 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 yada. Dun 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 Alright, so, then he managed to find three big switches. They were after what the convoy had been carrying in Manchester. It had been carefully sealed in a specimen tank in our research lab. We thought it would be unable to call the Khmer from within the tank. But we, we were, were wrong. Mistaken. Dead no wrong. The danger he was in. If he opened that tank, the result could be disastrous. What was inside would either kill him or control him. Okay, so the Chimera are also a hive mind, by the way. So it's a bit like in Starship Troopers, where all the bugs kind of work together, and there's that mega mind one. So he carries on. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Skipping forward because it's just boring gameplay. Okay. Oh, he's got a funny run. It's like a little like a chicken, you know? Where their legs kind of move independent of their body. My god, he's limber. I knew Hale would eventually find the map room. We had maps of the Chimera invasion spreading through Russia. Autopsy records of Chimera creatures. Charts of the death tolls across Europe. These were numbers we didn't even disclose to our own soldiers. There were files that showed the progression of the Chimera virus in humans. There were also detailed schematics of our specimen tank and what was in it. We call them angels. They're the most powerful of all the Chimera. Right, so he's fine through. Oh my god, it's SCP-176, I think. Shy guy, that's it. Hey, don't look at my face. We're back to Nathan Hale. He looks around for a bit and then he spits out one of his teeth. So he goes over to the new iMac computer. Beep. Why are you opening it? Hale, don't go in there. Don't open it. Your telepathy defenses aren't strong enough. But he does. Doesn't look like an angel to me. Listen, there's no point in making a glass cage if the thing that you're trying to contain can break the glass. Cut to that clip of that monkey. <laughs> Bad design. Look out, Hale. Wait a minute. I've suddenly been cured of my conversion therapy. I have become either straight or gay once again, and it has hit me like a ton of bricks. Anyway, then he snarls and he points his gun back at the creature. <laughs> Dead. It would come as no surprise that a judge deemed him fit to stand trial. Then he takes an elevator. Hale was starting to show more effects of the conversion process. His movements had the unnatural quickness of the hybrids. Yeah, I mean, sure did. You see the way his legs moved? Cartwright led a squad of soldiers after them. It had been two hours since he had reported in. Hale volunteered to go after them. So, thanks so much. You are the one weapon we got. Anyway, go do this routine mission. Yet da 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 dee But then he meets up with Cartwright again. Give us a moment. Give us a moment? Wait, what are you going to... 
Captain, there's no time to finger them now. It's a British tradition. Have some respect. Cartwright was the best soldier in my command. He's the best damn soldier in my command. Better than Hale. Really. Really. So, he gives him the keys to his apartment and says, meet me there later. Oh, okay. It was the keys to a car. So, he hopped in that automobile and he battled on the M3. Yeah, da, 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 da. It's that mission from Halo. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, so they drive the warthog through the fence and into a nasty fog. The Chimera tend to establish themselves near large population centers. Their presence in a remote region like Somerset was highly unusual. The gorge was filled with factories that built stalkers and dropships, but we had seen those before. Deeper into the gorge, the Chimera were hiding something far more alarming. So, him and Cartwright are now a delicious duo. Take the other path. Give a shout if you find anything out of the ordinary. Or should I say when you find anything? Oh. <laughs> He's that Cartwright. He's always making jokes, even at the most appropriate times. Nathan Hale is running through and he... Ah, take that, take that, take that. Then he uses the glue gun from Prey. Oh my lucky stars, it's Cartwright, right? Yeah, you can't go horse wrong with cart right. Anyway, Hale's angry. Are you all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. They do the thing, and then we get to a cutscene. Hale and Cartwright had discovered the key to the entire Chimeran strategy. The tower they found had not been constructed. It had been excavated. That's a pretty good twist. Is this a man-made virus? Not so likely, seems more like ancient alien. The drive to Southern Command would have taken at least an hour. Time enough for the Chimera to launch a strike force. He's always snarling. So, they go fighting some more. The Chimera had infiltrated the hangar on the south side. If we didn't get the planes out safely, then all would truly be lost. Get to the hangar! Make sure all the transports get out! Go on, off you go. Captain Parker, the Chimera have sealed the base. Only Hales made it inside. Well, no one else even tried to follow him. Anyway, right, so he fights the Chimera. The soldiers were finally able to fight off the Chimera in the hangar. Chimera and Goliaths were already approaching Southern Command. A spire attack seemed inevitable. Not a spire attack. Oh, it's you, Cartwright. Anyway, I guess they got mech warriors now. You get that, uh, so you go around in the tank and you're shooting stuff. It's pretty fun. Southern Command was lost. More than half our troops were lost with it. The last time I saw Hale, he was looking over a map Cartwright had given him. God, I wish I could read. I learned later that it detailed the known paths of the power conduits. Hold on. How would you have a map? If you'd only just discovered this base in Somerset, how convenient. Did you hold one of the Chimera down and say, ah, draw it for me? Entering those tunnels is nothing short of suicide. Suicide. Nevertheless, I believe that is exactly what Hale did. Hale goes in. Guns are blazing. Dun, dun, da 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 dun, 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 da da dun, 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 dun. Oh, then he comes across an elevator. He goes up the elevator. He kills some dudes. Next, 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 next. I mean, just skipping forward through my own gameplay, fellas. So he fires the rocket at the crab thing, and he destroys the crab thing, and then everything goes blurry. He told me he was in London. He described a tower in the middle of London, one far bigger than that which they had found in Somerset. If we destroy the tower, we destroy the Chimera. I had been able to contact the Americans, and they had joined forces with us in Cardiff. I decided to gamble that Hale was right. I convinced the Americans to help launch a full assault. So she's like a general now? What's her rank? All right, so then they go to some sort of train station. Oh, we've got to find platform nine and three quarters. Be advised, Sergeant. We're coming in heavy and a little low. Can they at least promote him? He's still, like, sergeant down here. Sergeant, major, sir, fuck. Rank up! Sergeant, sergeant, master sergeant, shooter person! What's, like, deputy captain? Lieutenant. Lieutenant Hale. So, Lieutenant Hale suddenly spots a crab. Gore, blimey! 
So it's up to General Hale to do the dirty work. He fights the big crab rave monster. You did it, Hale. You beautiful bastard. Then a tank shows up and destroys another crab monster. They are able to take back London. We set the tanks up in assault formation and started across Tower Bridge. The last tanks were crossing the bridge when we saw Goliaths approaching from behind. We had to destroy the bridge before they caught up to our tanks. So then Hale has to fight the, one of those big things. So he fights his way through and then he succeeds. The Khmeran forces were holding us in check while their Goliaths closed in on Southern Goliaths. Bridge. Goliaths. With Tower Bridge destroyed, there was no possibility of retreat. Do you reckon she's really British or she's putting on as shitty accent as I am? All right, so he fights his way into the tunnels. Oh my God, more tunnels. He makes it to a bridge, but that bridge is going to explode. So what's gonna happen? They're gonna fall about 30 feet and that's it. They wouldn't even be destroyed. Just inconvenience, surely. Anyway, so he and him and Cartwright partner up again. Best buddies. They're gonna catch that Goliath and they're gonna use it for their own means. So they're driving along and it's a tense, nail-biting, edge of your seat, fist knuckle whitening battle before they finally make it into the Tower of London. Not bad shooting, I'd say. Thanks, Cartwright. <clears throat> no, Cartwright's been injured. It's just a flesh wound. You'll be okay. <laughs> you, you go ahead. Uh, I'll uh, cover this entrance. Don't be a hero, Cartwright. Anyway, smell you later, he says. And he heads down a big elevator. And this is it. The big moment. <laughs> Sergeant Hale has to shoot the lights inside the thingy as they're exposed. And he does. And he manages by doing that to destroy the whole tower. My god, Hale, you're a madman. But do you get the job done? Trapnel is falling all around Hale. He must run for the egg exit. Just as the tower collapses. Captain, we've got to get clear. Hold this position. That's an order. It's too late. No one's coming out of there. I said they fly away. Oh, leaving Hale behind. As the tower fell, Khmeran creatures began to shriek and writhe on the ground. They died within minutes. So by destroying that tower, you know, some sort of connection was severed and they started dying. The reactor meltdown caused a chain reaction that destroyed all the towers in the network. Oh my god, Had they've saved England. Searching the rural villages for survivors. So far, we found 921. Holy shit. The human species is like borderline extinct. As for Nathan Hale, his body was never recovered. No. He was presumably incinerated inside the tower. I'll never know for sure. He never got to have that debriefing. Oh my god, those are the footprints of Hale. He's still alive. Oh, they spotted him. So the helicopter lands to pick up Hale. Hale is riddled with blood. Somehow everyone's got like nicer weapons. Oh, what the fuck? Hmm. Yeah. So he decides to go with them and he jumps on the helicopter. Dun, 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 dun. And then that's the end of the game. So, thoughts. It's a pretty good game. They did sequels and I didn't think they were as good. Story inconsistencies. They don't really tell you what happened to the rest of Europe. Did that get cured too? Nathan Hale seems to be the quiet type. And I get why they do that for games, but it just kind of feels like what would be more useful is if you tell everybody everything. So, um, yeah, I was infected. I don't remember much, but this is what it feels like. And here, yeah, do a few experiments on me. Maybe you'll find out that I've got a brother or something and he would also become a super soldier. Parker felt really shoehorned in. It almost felt like this game didn't need Parker at all. And instead, it should have been Cartwright the whole time. Or the reverse. Just pick one of the two and then you would have had more time to sort of develop their bond and then it sort of makes sense why, you know, um, I'm not leaving without him. Overall, good game.